And welcome to the Excels South Arena for this, the final of the women's powerlifting. This is the sub 82 and a half kilo category. We have eight women through to the final. And leading the way in qualification was an Egyptian. An Egyptian, Heba Ahmed, holds the world record in this weight category. And an Egyptian, Randa Mahmoud, was the woman that lift, lifted the, uh, the heaviest weight in qualification. In powerlifting, the athletes compete in weight classes at the bench press. Uh, the winner is the person who lifts the heaviest weight. And each athlete's got three attempts. They must lower the bar to their chest. They've got to hold it motionless, and then they've got to press it upwards to their arm's length and hold it motionless again until signaled by the referee. And the referee's command, he will say rack. That is the, the word, the command given by the referee when a lifter has held the bar with arms locked for long enough. The first competitor is from Malaysia. This is Sharifa Raudza Saeed Akil. As I say, sub 82 and a half kilos. Her body weight actually 81.3 kilos. And that's a successful first lift for Saeed Akil. kilos and in fact that lift has been disqualified that is in fact an, a no lift now Tatiana Smirnova of Russia her first lift she's going for 108 kilos and she is the oldest competitor in this final still going strong at 56 years of age would you believe say they are mixed disabilities. Anybody with a minimum level of disability, paralysis, lower limb amputation, cerebral palsy, as long as they can extend their arms within 20 degrees of a full extension during lift is eligible to compete in this category. So Shmanova of Russia born way back in August 1956. <laughs> Aiming to lift 108 kilograms. <laughs> Good lift this time. Chapter says what I thought the judge said the first time. He's a British judge as well, the technical delegate John Amos. So Schmernova lifts 108 kilograms. The athletes can choose their opening lift. Whatever they want to uh, attempt, as I say, Saeed Akil, the first lifter, she was only attempting 95. Randa Mahmoud qualified with the best lift. She will attempt at 135 kilos. 
the world record by the way set in Beijing world and Paralympic record set in Beijing four years ago by the Egyptian Heber Ahmed and that was 155 kilograms so not far off double the body weight of the athlete and next we have Huda Ali from Iraq Thirty-five years of age. She's the heaviest of the eight athletes in terms of body weight, just under the 82 kilo mark. And she too will attempt to lift 108 kilos here. No lift there. Just have to wait a second or two until we get the official confirmation of whether it's a no lift or a good lift. Obviously, all these women have exceptional upper body strength. They've got explosive power as well. Both those things are crucial, but technique is also very important because the most common reasons for a lift being disqualified that failure to extend the arms fully not lifting the bar in one smooth movement and the inability to keep the bar motionless over the chest so technique very very important in this discipline so Saeed Akil of Malaysia, no lift. Huda Ali of Iraq, no lift. Only good lift so far from the Russian at 108 kilos, Tatiana Shmernova. And now we have the Brazilian, Marcia Cristina Menezes. And she will attempt to lift 110 kilograms. It's the power lifting final. Menezes has uh, a lot to do here. Her qualifying score was the lowest of the eight athletes at just 105 uh, kilos. She went right up to Mahmoud, who lifted 144 in qualification. So she's already adding five extra kilos with this, her first lift. But it's important to get a good lift, a clean lift in early as you can see there are lots of no lifts ruled in these disciplines Good lift, good lift from Marcin, uh, Marcia Cristina Menezes. So she is into the lead with that lift of 110 kilos, a couple of kilos more than Tatiana Shmernova of Russia. As you can see there, the athletes can be strapped to the bench at any point 
that they wish from their ankles to their hips. It's their choice, obviously dependent on the type of disability that they have. Next we have the Mexican, Catalina Diaz Vilchis, who will attempt to lift 115 kilograms. So this would take her into the lead should she manage a good lift here. Traditionally, the Chinese, the Russians, the Iranians, the Nigerians, very strong contenders. But in fact, at this Paralympics, we have, at the moment, five countries that are sort of way out in front across all the various women's competitions. Nigeria, China, Egypt, Russia and Turkey. They have lots and lots of competitors at all weight categories right down to the sub 40 kilo uh, weights right up to the 82 and a half plus so the 48 year old mexican diaz vilches Good lift, look good, just waiting for confirmation, 115 kilos. Diaz Vilches, Catalina Diaz Vilches from Mexico. So she now has the lead. These first lifts, remember. And it is the best lift. Zhu Yanmai of China will be next, 24-year-old, qualified with a score of 136. She's going to attempt on first lift 120. So up to the platform, Zhu Yanmai. So we start with the bar motionless above the chest, then the lift, one smooth pressing movement, and the finish straight arms at a motionless bar. The spotters, you can see at either side, monitoring the lift throughout. And the Malaysian referee, Nosaya Muhammad, has the final say. It looks good. Good lift from Zhu Yan Mai. So as we go through each competitor, they are quite literally raising the bar here. 120 kilograms for Zhu, who now has the lead. And we have two more women with their first lifts.
That's Randa Mahmoud. Qualified with the best lift of 144 kilos. That really is an astonishing weight to lift, isn't it? 25 year old Egyptian. She's going to start in this final at 135. One hundred and thirty-five kilos. Good lift from Randa Mahmoud. Well, that's a sensational start for the Egyptian woman. Of course, she knows there is more to come. She knows that she qualified with another nine kilos on top of that 135. As I say, important to get a good lift early on. And she's out in front at the moment by 15 kilos. She lifts 135, Zhu of China, 120. Now we come to the youngest competitor in the final. And this is, in a way, something of a surprise. On our start list, I was expecting Loveline Abiji of Nigeria to actually lift before Randa Mahmoud. And she's listed as attempting, with the first attempt, one, two, five kilos. In fact, she's obviously changed her mind and she's decided to start a 145, would you believe? That's very brave, very ambitious, very audacious. A BG, only 21 years of age, she'll be 22 next Tuesday. I mean, if she can get this, she'll be almost guaranteed a medal, really. Might not be gold, but certainly get a medal. It's a good lift. It's a good lift at 145. Well, her bravery has paid off there. That was definitely a gamble. She's out in the lead. She's left it 10 kilos more than Randa Mahmoud. And she's lifted five more than her qualifying score of 140. So the eight women prepare for their second attempts, starting with the Malaysian Sharifa Raudza Saeed Akil, failed with the first attempt at 95 kilos.
Again, no lift, so that's two failures for Saeed Akil. She was attempting 97 there. So Huda Ali will try again at 108, 108 kilos. She too failed with that first attempt. So let's see if she has better luck this time. The chief referee, Norsaya Mohammed from Malaysia. The side referees, Lee of Korea, Malaya of Romania. Uh, the competitors uh, need at least two of the three votes for a good lift. Saeed Akil and Huda Ali both recording no lifts. See if she can improve on that here. That so certainly looks better. Yes, it's a good lift this time for Huda Ali of Iraq. So she succeeds at the second attempt at 108 kilos. moment that gives her a share of sixth place. So shares sixth place now with Tatiana Smirnova, but she has this lift to come. She's already lifted 108. Now she's going to uh, attempt 112. Well, very impressive still to be uh, doing this sort of thing at the age of 56, Tatiana Smirnova. So Shmanova of Russia trying for 112 kilos. Good lift, she's into fifth place with that lift of 112. Ahead of Huda Ali and also ahead of the Brazilian Marcia Cristina Menezes, who will lift next. You can 
see what a tough discipline this is. I mentioned strength and power earlier, and also how important technique is, but you can see that concentration also comes into play. We will spend an awful lot of time being focused on lifting. What, remember, in some cases can be almost double their body weight. Bench pressing almost double their body weight. So Brazil's Marcia Cristina Menezes, who has already lifted 110 kilos. That's a no lift. Didn't quite straighten those arms, and it's a no lift for Marcia Cristina Menezes. She went for the 115, having already lifted 110. Still has one more lift to go, of course. Catalina Diaz Vilchis has already managed to uh, lift 115. Now she is going for 122. This would take her. Clear into third position ahead of the Chinese Zhu. At the moment, the battle for gold would appear to be between the Nigerian and the Egyptian, who've lifted 135 and 145, respectively. Zhu Yan Mai, who will lift next, has lifted 120. So an attempt at 122 kilos for the Mexican Catalina. Diaz Vilches. So she stays joint fourth, the Mexican. She'll still have one more lift in this competition.
So Zhu of China has lifted 120. Now she's going for 125. Would still leave her in the bronze medal position even if she does lift it, but it would cement her place in that position. 120 is good enough at the moment. But that could change on the last lift. So she's gone up to 125. Four-year-old Zhu, she'll be 35 later this month, fortnight today. <coughs> in terms of body weight, she is the lightest competitor in this final. So she's 75 kilos, and she's attempting to lift 125. That's got the thumbs up from the judges. So 125 successfully lifted by Zhu Yanmai of China. And now we come to the battle for gold and silver. And BG of Nigeria leads this woman, Randa Mahmoud from Egypt. Mahmoud qualified at best with a 144, a BG a 140, but a BG has already lifted 145 with her first lift. Mahmoud 135, now she's going for 140. Yes, that's a good lift from Randa Mahmoud at 140, so she's still behind the leader. A BG of Nigeria. But to within five kilos of the Nigeria now. And in this most physical of disciplines, you can probably see when Mahmoud was about to lift it. You know, mental effort comes into it as well. You have to be very mentally strong as well as physically strong. A BG now going for 149 kilos. She's already in the gold medal position. Successfully lifted 145. If she gets this, she'll just be six kilos 
short of the world record, the world and Paralympic record of 155 kilos held by Heba Ahmed of Egypt. That was set four years ago in Beijing. So a qualifying score of 140 kilos, a first lift successful of 145. Now she is attempting 149. No lift though there. No lift for Loverline Abiji. But still, she leads the competition at the end of the second lifts for all eight women. There you can see lift one was successful at 145. So she leads the competition from Randa Mahmoud. And the bronze medal position at the moment to China's Zhu Yanmei. Confirmation of the standings. Abiji, Mahmoud, and Zhu are the leading three in this women's 82 and a half kilo category at the powerlifting at XL. Saeed Akil, another attempt at 97. moves on to the platform seems a little harsh to say it but she's a little out of her depth in this quality of competition Two no lifts so far for Sharifa Raudza Saeed Akil of Malaysia. Church. Can she end yeah. her Paralympics on a high? <laughs> yes, she can. A personal triumph then for Saeed Akil, who is all smiles. That means a lot to her 97 kilos. Well done to her. Won't be involved in the medals, but it would have been a shame to have recorded three no lifts in a final. 97 kilos successfully lifted by Saeed Akil. Huda Ali of Iraq has lifted 108 kilos at the second attempt that was now she's adding another five 113 
this would put her into sixth place. Ahead of Russia's Tatiana Smirnova, if she can lift it. Smirnova has successfully lifted 112 kilos. So this for 113 from Huda Ali of Iraq. Ali, almost 82 kilos body weight, so she is the heaviest woman in this final. to failure at 113 for Huda Ali. So her best lift remains at 108, that second lift, 108 kilos. So she will finish in seventh position here at London 2012. So we go slightly out of sequence from the original start sheet because Tatiana Shmernova of Russia has successfully lifted 112 kilos. And the Brazilian Marcia Cristina Menezes lifted 110 with her first lift but failed at 115. Menezes currently in sixth position. If she can bench press this, she'll move at least for the time being, into fifth spot. No lift for Marcia Cristina Menezes, so she has to be satisfied with sixth place. She successfully lifted 110 kilos with that first lift, but failures at 115 and 116. She gets a roar from the crowd. We've got a few Brazilians in here, actually. They never seem to be short of support, the Brazilians, in any sport.
So in terms of the medals, it's three medals between four women. Tatiana Shmanova won't be included in the final reckoning in terms of a medal here today, the 56-year-old Russian. But she has been successful with her first two lifts, 108, then 112. Adding another four here to 116. Won't change where she finishes because her 112 is enough to give her fifth place. But this just for the personal pride. Already lifted more than her qualification score of 111. Can she lift 116? No. Well, a rueful look on the face of Tatiana Shmernova. But a terrific game, nonetheless. Very, very popular, the Russian. Successful at 112 kilos, and she finishes fifth. But now we are into the battle for the medals in this weight category, this sub 82 and a half kilo category for women. So Catalina Diaz Vilches going for broke here, as she must do. The qualification score was 120. She successfully lifted 115 kilos with her first lift, but then failed at 122. But she's gone right up now to 128. 122 wouldn't be good enough anyway. China Zhu Yan Mai, who is currently in the bronze medal position. She's already lifted 125. So this is a really tall order for the Mexican. One hundred and twenty eight kilos will take her into the bronze medal position. Well, it won't guarantee bronze. She's got it, though. She's got it. Having failed at one, two, two. She's lifted one, two, eight. Well, that is absolutely superb lifting from Catalina Diaz Vilches, 128 kilos. So the next lift will decide bronze. Zhu Yanmai of China would have taken bronze had Diaz Vilches failed there. She is, as you would expect, the Chinese athlete going to try at 129, one kilo more. She has lifted 136, so 129 is not beyond her. 
but she'll miss out on a medal unless she is successful here at 1-2-9. The 34-year-old Chinese lifter, Zhu Yanmai. Big, big moments, these for the Mexican Diaz Vilches and the woman you're looking at now, the Chinese Xu Yan Mai. The gold and silver contest to come in a moment. A BG and Mahmoud of Nigeria and Egypt. This for bronze. She's done it. Good lift. Good lift from Zhu Yanmai of China. And she has done it. So the Mexicans' hard work, unfortunately for her, hasn't paid off because Zhu Yanmai has lifted that extra kilogram. 129 to 128 and Zhu takes the bronze medal for China look of delight on her face it's what competition's all about of course and now to the battle for gold and silver. One hundred and forty five kilos for Randa Mahmood. She's currently in second place. Abiji of Nigeria lifted 145, so same weight with her first lift. She failed at 149 with her second. She is still to come. But she'll win gold whatever if Mahmoud can't lift 145. Best qualifying score of 144. In terms of team ranking, the Egyptians are third in the powerlifting category. I don't think she's going to do it. I don't think she's going to do it. She hasn't done it. It's a medal, but it's only silver for Randa Mahmoud. 140. Her best lift. So she takes silver for Egypt. And the gold medal goes to Loveline Abiji of Nigeria, who at the moment, in terms of a team ranking, lead the way in powerlifting. Just, just couldn't do it. So, love line a BG already won gold. Now this is for pride, this is for her own satisfaction, can she lift 149?
Her first lift, 145, ensures the gold medal anyway. What a future this woman has in powerlifting. You said the same as well about Mahmoud. Mahmoud is only 25, but Abiji here is 21. And when you think Shmernova of Russia has finished fifth at the age of 56. But can she do it at 149? That looks good. It looks good. But it's no lift. Rule the no lift, but it doesn't matter in terms of the medals because she has won the gold, and that is her reaction to that. Love Alina BG of Nigeria with that opening lift successfully at 145 kilos has taken the gold medal for Nigeria. What an achievement for her. Kisses the ground repeatedly. Well, a superb achievement for Loveline Abiji. She has taken gold here for Nigeria. It was a, a great contest, both for third and fourth between the Mexican Diaz Vilches and the Chinese Zhu. The Chinese Zhu eventually taking third place in that bronze medal. And it was an even better contest between Mahmoud and Abiji for the gold. There's confirmation, second place, Randa Mahmoud of Egypt, Zhu of China, taking the bronze.